Hadoop? Well, in fact, I will go back uh, one more year to look at the Hadron Collider when we increased the energy from 8 TeV center of mass energy. TeV is our unit of uh, energy in which we measure. Now it's 13 TeV, so it's completely new uh, regime in which we explore the physics. And that's always exciting for a scientist when you do something which has never been looked at before. Yeah. The challenge at the Hadron Collider these days is really to produce the lum luminosity in a reliable way. Uh, why do I say this? It's such a complex machine. 30 kilometers, thousands of magnets and everything has to function. Uh, so one story that went through the press recently was for example a poor animal that short circuit a high voltage power supply and then caused a breakdown. Unfortunately, these things do happen. Uh, what I want to indicate is we really need functioning of all components. To produce uh, a lot of luminosity, we have reliable operation requested from all components. We have invested a lot over the past shutdown in the winter to ascertain this, uh, made a lot of progress. It looks good. The machine is as clean as ever. That's also an important aspect that we don't have parasitic collisions uh, which widen up the beam. Uh, that is looking fine, so we are really off uh, to a good start. Uh, but it remains challenges, requires the attention of many people to have this functioning. Uh, with the new energy to, uh, opening up, you have to be open to all uh, aspects. So, one of the standard theories we are trying to explore beyond the standard model is supersymmetry. Because it has many nice features theoretically and it can be quantified how far you go with your experimental tests. Uh, so this is a broad uh, subject of investigation. Uh, then we have things like extra dimensions uh, where we look for uh, additional dimensions in which things may hide and gravity may find its way without the rest of us noticing. Uh, dark matter is a puzzle that we are aware of. We, know, we understand 5% of the mass of the universe. Dark matter has to be there in one form or the other. We have not found the carrier of this dark matter property and so this is clearly on the menu for the experiments to look at. Yeah, so that is a very solid piece of the physics to start with in the sense that uh, the, with the discovery of the Higgs particle that made the press a few years ago led to the Nobel Prize to the eminent theorist. Um, the, we want to understand whether this is the Higgs particle of the standard model or whether it's in fact a Higgs particle that has more properties. To do this you have to examine the particle very uh, finely in, in much detail. And this is where a precision machine like the linear collider, E plus E minus linear collider, uh, could complement the physics program of the LHC. So in that sense, the ILC, which is uh, part of the discussion here in Santander during the conference, uh, would really be an instrument uh, that uh, would be much welcome by the community to extend the physics reach uh, that uh, the LHC is providing. But they are really complementary. <laughs>